Welcome to another fast tip video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about the new, sort of new, kind of new, warning message that comes up, the security risk warning message. When you open up a database that you've downloaded or got from someone else in Microsoft Access. Okay, so I recently started getting emails from people about this one. They go to my website, they go to download my free template or any of the files for that matter. Okay, the file downloads just fine. You go to open up your download folder. There she is. You extract the files. Okay, go ahead and extract them. There they are. And now you go to open it up. And you get this lovely message. It says security risk. Microsoft has blocked macros from running because the source of this file is untrusted. Now basically the database opens up and you can look at stuff and you can open up tables and such, but none of the code works, none of the buttons work, none of the macros will run. And that's because Microsoft has blocked it for you. Anything you download from a website or get sent through email is gonna have what's called the mark of the web, which means Microsoft is doing you a favor by blocking it. Now, there's a couple things you can do very easily to get around this. The first thing you can do is manually unblock that file. How do you do that? It's pretty straightforward. Right click, go to properties. And right here you'll see security. This file came from another computer and might be blocked to help protect this computer. Well, all you gotta do is click unblock, hit apply, hit okay. And now you can still open up that database. Now you'll still get this guy, this old security warning. Okay, to get rid of that, you can click on enable content and now it's open. Now it'll, now it'll run, now it'll work. Okay, or you can put the database in a trusted folder. A trusted folder will also get around that mark of the web as well. How do you set up a trusted folder, a trusted location? Well, I got a whole separate video on how to do that. It's real easy. Go watch this video. I'll put a link down below that you can click on. Now, if I go back to my databases, there were two files in there. I unprotected this one. I unblocked that one. Blank here is still blocked, okay? But if I move this to a trusted folder, then I should be able to open it right away. Now, I've got my desktop set up as a trusted folder, which I don't recommend you do, by the way. I don't recommend the average user sets up their desktop as a trusted folder, but I use this machine for teaching, and so I drop everything on the desktop when I'm doing classes and stuff. So I can just do this, click, drag, drop. My desktop is trusted. And if I open this database now, you can see I get no warning message. Okay, so just make a trusted folder and this problem goes away. One other thing that I noticed is that I didn't notice this for the longest time because I use a different program called WinRAR. WinRAR is a different uh, compression program. It's been around for years. It supports lots of different types like RAR and all those. but it doesn't associate that mark of the web. So I've been extracting files forever and they just open up because WinRAR doesn't see that. You still get this security warning, but it doesn't have that mark of the web. So only Windows' built-in extraction will even extract those files with that mark of the web. So you can get yourself a copy of WinRAR if you don't want to have to deal with that too. Now, I don't know if they're going to include it in future versions. It's been a little while since I've upgraded. But as of right now, my version doesn't do it. Now, this works for most of us, the average user. If you're just getting some databases, if you're pulling stuff off of my website, whatever, you can manually go and turn off that blockage or you can put it in a trusted folder. But if you're the kind of person where you make databases and send them out to a bunch of people and you don't want them to have to deal with this, right? If they're newbies and you want an automated way to get rid of that mark of the web, there are some things you can do to automate the process. Now, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. So what you're going to do is you're going to go watch Daniel Pinot's video. He put together an awesome video that includes instructions on how to get a utility that can unblock your databases for you. And he's got some VB code that will do some stuff too. Very, very helpful information. I strongly recommend it. Daniel's a really smart guy. I've been following him for years. MVP knows his stuff. Here's a link to his YouTube video here. I'll put a link down below in the description. You can click on it and go watch this yourself. Make sure while you're there, you subscribe to his channel. Give him a thumbs up. Post a comment. Let him know that I sent you. 
but he's got all kinds of step-by-step -step instructions on exactly what you have to do, how this thing works, how the utility works, all that. And you know his stuff is good because his videos are coming up in my suggested videos on my YouTube account, in addition to some Rush stuff, of course. I always watch Rush videos. <laughs> I'm surprised there's no Star Trek stuff over here. So that's your fast tip for today. I hope you learned something, and I hope this helps someone. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full-length courses found on my website, not just for access, too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a Diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are gonna keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you have not yet tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website, and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.